So Apple just announced their new product lineups in their annual fall event. And in this video, I wanted to share with you guys what I'm most excited for, specifically the Apple Watch and the AirPods Pro. I'm gonna leave the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro for the other YouTubers because I don't know if it's enough of a upgrade for me to spend more money. If you guys are interested in me doing a review, let me know in the comments below. But right now, we're gonna dive straight into the Series 8. This was the one I was not the most impressed with. It didn't seem like it was that big of a step from the Apple Watch Series 7. But the new features were pretty interesting, the first one being the temperature sensor. Now, the temperature sensor is gotta be under the device as well as under the display. It's gotta be tracking your body temperature changes overnight every five seconds. Now, the next big update that they announced with the Apple Watch Series 8 is the crash detection feature. This is their new motion sensors, including a three axis gyroscope, as well as a high G force accelerometer, which measures up to around 256 Gs that will help detect large impacts. And what happens is when it detects a crash, it will contact your emergency services, your emergency contacts, and share your location. They also now have a new low power mode because the Series 8 has a standard battery life, which to me is already still kind of trash compared to the competition out there but the new low power mode gives you around 36 hours. So it keeps the core functions, but disables everything else like the automatic workout detection or the always on display. They also introduced more band styles, including the new Nike and Hermes bands, which I don't know who's buying those Hermes bands. Those things cost, I don't even know, like too expensive for me. I just stick with my regular loop bands or the Nike bands. The cost will start at $399 and you can pre-order the device now and get it by September 16th. And if you do so, you end up getting three months free of Fitness Plus, which is a pretty good deal. Then they also updated the Apple Watch SE, basically to replace the Series 3. The Series 3 is now discontinued, but what they did is they kept the core benefits, it being swim proof, you have the emergency SOS, you have the crash detection, and the cost is around $249, with it releasing on September 16th. Now, the big announcement, the Apple Watch Ultra. Was I the only one who thought the name was gonna be pro? Like Ultra, when they said Apple Watch Ultra, where did Ultra come from? I've never heard Ultra in an Apple lineup. Everything about this watch is targeted to that hardcore athlete. It looks like they're almost like taking a shot at Garmin. If this man shoots me, I want you to kill him. And I want you to go clear my browser history. It now has a titanium casing to really be durable enough to handle like the harshest conditions. And the titanium casing actually goes around the sapphire glass to protect the edges. It also is now larger at 49 millimeters and the screen is two times brighter at 2000 nits. And what's really interesting is they now added a new orange action button. And this action button can start workouts. It can activate a siren, which is around 86 decibels, which can be heard around 600 feet away. It also comes with a larger digital crown with a larger side button, which basically makes it a little bit more accessible if you're wearing gloves. And they also added a second speaker to increase the sound by two times as well. Now, what I'm extremely excited about is that 36 hours of battery life. Finally, more than 24 hours, double the battery life without even any type of lower power mode. They even said in the future, they're gonna have battery optimization to make it go up to 60 hours. I'm very interested in seeing if that really reaches that 60 hours. I doubt it, but we'll see. They also updated the water resistance to WR100, which is basically good for snorkeling, diving, any type of water sports. They also now have a new GPS, which is L1 and L5. And what I actually thought was actually really cool was the new compass app where you can basically set wayfinder markers so you don't get lost. So you can almost like retrack your steps back to the waypoint that you had set earlier. But the big hitter is the fact that this watch is $7.99 and I pre-ordered it. But I'm very interested because like out of all of the Apple Watches that they announced, this was the one that was just very different. And would I say I'm like an endurance athlete or like a mountain climber? No, but I still think it is a really cool watch to try out as well as the fact if you just want better battery life, right? And a more rugged device. Oh, and I also forgot to mention they came out with three new bands. They have the Alpine Loop, which has like a G hook for people doing those like altitude explorations, like climbing. They have the Ocean Band with the more tubular design, which is better for going over like a wetsuit when you're diving. And then lastly, they have the Trail Loop, which is for endurance athletes, which is supposed to be their thinnest band ever and supposed to be very flexible. Now the next update involved the new AirPods 
Pro. They now have this H2 chip, which is supposed to basically give you an improved audio experience. And this even includes a personalized spatial audio where you can use the true depth camera on your iPhone to analyze your ear where they give you a personalized spatial audio experience, which is supposed to make it just a little bit more immersive. But the two things that I'm really looking forward to is the active noise cancellation. Now they said that the noise cancellation is supposed to be double the amount compared to the original Gen 1 with advanced computation and the placement of the microphones. This will be very interesting to try out on the New York subways or when I'm at the gym to really see if I am not hearing anybody else around me. Now, they also updated the transparency mode with what they call the adaptive transparency mode, where it basically reduces the volume of harsh environmental noise. They use construction as an example. So really, you're only listening to the things that matter most. So kind of like, you know, an airport, intercom or talking to somebody next to you. Now, what I'm excited most about around these headphones is the fact that the stem now has touch control. So before you could just pause and play music, rewind, fast forward, but now you can actually use a swiping feature up and down to control the volume, which I have been so, so, so much waiting for because I just didn't understand how you couldn't control the volume on most of these headphones unless you had to like deactivate one of the features. So before it was either active noise cancellation or the volume but now you can do both on just one earbud. They also increased the battery life of the new AirPods Pro, where it can now get around six hours of listening time and now up to 30 hours of total listening time with the charging case. And speaking of the case, they definitely made a few changes to it, including a speaker where it basically will give you a sound notification when you're charging it or if you're trying to look for it, which is I think is really cool because at first it was just the headphones, but now it can actually do the case as well. They also added a, a loop area where somebody can attach a lanyard, I guess if you wanted to keep it on your person at all times. And what's cool is you can actually charge it with your Apple Watch charger or any type of Qi charger that you have available. Now, both of these come off the new OSs that were announced earlier this summer. I really think that Apple is starting to make some strides in the fitness space. Like I said, I have the Apple Watch Ultra coming. I would make sure to do an in-depth review. I might even think about comparing it to the Galaxy Watch Pro perhaps. So I'm very interested to see how the Apple Watch Ultra and the AirPods Pro help me with my health and fitness goals. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what you would like me to test out. I hope you guys have an amazing day. As always, be healthy, stay happy, and embrace the hype.